G'day and welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Today's recipe suggestion comes from the YouTube user Chris. So join me today as we make some delicious macarons. Okay, we're going to start off by separating our egg yolks from the whites. So, into a bowl, let the egg white just fall in. And just keep transferring the yolk from shell to shell just to get all the egg white out. Alright, so what we're going to do now with the egg whites, we're going to put them into a bowl. And we're going to beat them for about 3 to 4 minutes until soft peaks start to form. As you can see, picks us on the form and it's also attached itself to the beater. Next, we're going to place in our caster sugar, or also referred to as super fine sugar. And we're going to mix that again just until, just until the mix stiffens up a bit. Okay, with our egg mixture done, next we're going to place in our almond meal. And then we're going to sift in our icing sugar, also referred to as confectionery sugar. Okay, next I want you to slowly fold the mixture through. Don't mix it, don't beat it, because then you're, you're going to lose all the air that's in the egg mixture. So just slowly fold it through until it's completely combined. Okay, next we're going to evenly divide it between another two bowls, so we have three portions all up. Now this is the part where you can be very creative. You can choose whichever colour you want, whichever flavour you want. So for what I'm going to do, a couple of drops of green. And I'm going to add in a little peppermint essence. Okay, next one I'm going to add some red. But I'm going to mix it up a bit. For that I'm just going to add some vanilla. And it's quite, it can be fun too because you can also really fool your guests. You have one colour but a completely different flavour. And for the last one I think I'll add some blue. But I'm not going to add any flavour to this one. So once done, just give them a very good mix around just till the colour and the flavorings worked its way through. Now onto a baking tray like with bacon or parchment paper. Now I'm going to use a piping gun. You can also use a piping bag or you use a Ziploc bag with a cold cut just on the corner. So with this we're just going to make small amounts just like so. Okay, once done, we're going to let this sit here for about 15 minutes, just till a, a slight crust starts to form just on the outside. Okay, so they're sitting here for 15 minutes and they've got a slight crusty shell just on the outside. Now what you want to do is just grab them up a little bit and drop them down just like that. That's what forms that little telltale sign of a good macaroon. So I'm going to place this into a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Okay, so I've taken this out of the oven and I've had them sitting here for about about half an hour now just to cool down and they're looking pretty good. Now some are, some are cracked and it's only some of them and it's unavoidable at times. But apart from that, they look pretty damn good. Now what filling you use is completely up to you. So I've just melted some white chocolate here in the microwave. So what I'm going to do is you only need a very small amount. Just like so. And I'm just going to put that right in between there. Just like that. And that'll set by itself. So I'm going to do all these and we'll get back and see how they turn out. Okay, so I've done all the filling and I've had them in the fridge for about 20 minutes to set and I'll tell you what, they're looking pretty damn fantastic. Now you can mix and match as many colours as you like. You can um, choose whatever flavours you like and whatever topping you like. It's pretty much endless on what you can do with these things. So once again, thank you for watching this episode of Tort's Kitchen. Be sure to show me some love by giving me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.